Welcome to Tots Plus. My name is Jose Mata, and in this course, we'll learn how to build REST APIs in the Ruby language using Grape. Grape is a tool that specifically allows you to build REST APIs. It was designed to be lightweight and flexible as well. If you're new to Ruby, then probably you should be visiting other courses that we already have in the Tots Plus network. Check out the Ruby Fundamentals course and then after you're done with it, you can check the Rails course to get to know the most famous framework in Ruby ever. And then check out Sinatra. It is a lightweight approach, just as Grape, but it is just a little older. And you may find it useful to have a term of comparison between Sinatra and Grape. Come back to this course after you watch the previous three. The Ruby Fundamentals one is actually pretty important if you're new to Ruby then jump into either Rails or Sinatra, and then join us in this course. If you're into Rails, but you think it's too much for a product that you're trying to build, perhaps a single feature or just a small subset that actually makes Ruby on Rails a bit too much, then this is a tool that you should use. It's a lightweight alternative to Rails, and it relies heavily on basic HTTP concepts. You might know Rails for its complexity and loads of different features, active record, all of those controllers and stuff like that. Great support for tests and everything. So if you feel Rails is too much for a product that you're trying to design, then definitely go ahead and try Grape. We're going to build a very simple product. So let me just go ahead and show you the agenda for the course. As I've mentioned, we're going to build a very simple project, a simple file uploader. Before we do anything using Grape, we'll need to bootstrap a project structure with all of the files and folders that we need for our project. We're going to be using Rack, Grape, and several other tools. We're going to start by building our first feature, which should obviously be uploading a file. Then we're going to list all of the files so that we can assert that the files are being correctly uploaded. We're also going to make sure that the file is correctly specified by its URL or rather its path in the file system. We're also going to build a second feature regarding users. This is great to show off Grape's authentication system using HTTP. Since we're dealing with APIs, HTTP basic authentication is a perfect candidate. We're also going to take a look at custom routes for us to download our files. We'll take a look at validation as well and documenting parameters for each different URL, each different resource. So we'll be taking a look at that. Finally, I'll share some tips so you can move on using Grape on your project. With that being said, let's just get started by bootstrapping a simple project structure. I'll see you very soon. 